Before we continue, I want to mention the sponsor of this video, Nino Cooney Cross Worlds. Nino Cooney Cross Worlds is a vast open world RPG from Netmarble. Based on the Nino Cooney universe developed by Level 5 and Studio Ghibli, the game offers players the chance to live in a Studio Ghibli styled environment. Adventuring through a lush, beautiful anime-inspired world as one of five character classes, which is open for pre-registration now. When you play the game, you can choose between five unique heroes. The Swordsman, the Witch, the Engineer, the Rogue, and the Destroyer. You can also get familiars, customize your farm and visit friends, and interact with the world. If you're a Studio Ghibli fan like me, you're going to really enjoy this game. And Nino Kuni Cross Worlds is open for pre-registration now. So go check it out. Well, another day being an opossum. And for everyone in the comments telling me that I'm pronouncing possum wrong, um, I'm not. The O is not silent. It can be. Both are correct. I'm an opossum, trust me. I kind of want to go check on the cute... Oh, there's a man at my door. Um... I don't want any. Well, I would like to go check on the cute cafe and see how things are doing over there. Maybe we have business, maybe we don't. Oh, he's back. Oh, dear God. I'm not very strong. Please. I can't run. So if a creeper snuck up on me, I'd be just absolutely doomed. Is this a mailbox? Owl post office now open. Ravenclaw. Ooh, I can send letters now. I need to make some friends. I'm pretty sure they all died. Okay, let's see how things are going. We do have a lot of cute origins on the server right now, so I figure maybe other people will want to get into a business with me. Being cute, having people come over and just look at their cuteness and whatnot. Who wouldn't? Oh, this is... <laughs> this is so hard. Wait. Oh my goodness, that was hard. Cute cafe! All right, let's see. <gasps> Is that the owl that's supposed to be delivering the letters? That's Catherine. Um, uh, the cute cafe is closed. For renovations. Well, uh, since our business is closed for for the time being, I figure I need to make a little area for me being an opossum to hide out and just kind of hang. So what I was thinking was just going one layer below my house and that way I can use my little possum ability to like sneak in. We'll have to make a little tunnel exit somewhere. Should I hollow this out and make like a cute little possum area and we need to make an exit so i'm thinking we go all the way to the back and pop out outside <gasps> maybe we put a trap door here that way nothing can crawl in perfect oh <gasps> it's almost like a little sewer maybe let's try to actually use it i just have to be standing anywhere in like this area Now, am I gonna stay down here? I'm frozen until the effect is over. Or is it gonna pop me back upstairs? <gasps> okay, so like not a perfect ability. I freeze whenever I do it until the cooldown is over. But I mean, it's still a way to secretly escape if I needed to. But at least we have a secret escape. I don't know that anyone's coming for me. Uh, honestly, I don't know if the Enigma is still gonna be mad about stuff. Or I can make it a tunnel system where you have to know the right way to get out. Like a maze? <gasps> Should this be a maze? Let's put some lanterns. Even though I obviously can see in the dark. Bunch of dead ends. I'm actually already lost, I think. It's this way. Here's the actual way out, okay. Okay, and the area we, where we need to do it is right here. Welcome to the maze! They might even think that I died when I do that ability. 
And I think that would be a good thing. Okay, secret tunnel entrance now. Tunnels to other people's bases? Let's try and dig our way to Joey's Panda Temple. <gasps> We're getting close. We just have to keep going down. <gasps> Uh-oh. Okay, lower. We did it! We tunneled to Joey's. I don't even actually know that he lives here anymore since he isn't a red panda anymore. I don't really know what happened to him. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh my goodness. You're an angry guy. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> Why? Why was he mad at me? What's his name, Junior? He's massive! <gasps> Why, Virian? Now that sounds cool. I'm still possum. A descendant from the powerful dragon called the Wyvern. Venomous, you can breathe out large clouds of poison. Hot-blooded, you're immune to poison. Winged, you have a large pair of feathered wings. Claws, you have large powerful claws allowing you to deal more damage to enemies. Gift of flight, you can use your large wings to flap every few seconds. That sounds like burbs. Will boost ability. Nocturnal, you have night vision allowing you to see in the dark. I can't escape these rolls that are nighttime rolls. But that's fine, I'm a creature of the night. Carnivorous, you are a carnivore, meaning you can only eat meat. Uh oh. Heavy wings, your wings get heavier when they are wet, causing you to get weakness and slowness in the water. Height, similar to most other dragons, you are taller than others. Because you are a descendant of wyverns, you have weaker arms, you cannot hold a shield. Well, this, this face isn't going to do anymore. Wait, why am I? I'm still small. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh my god, I'm tall. <gasps> oh my, I can't even. <gasps> Whoa, look at me. I'm a little half dragon late, not so little. I'm really tall. I've never been this tall. All right, I don't really know what to do now. I'm, I can't fit in my door. How do I? <laughs> Wait, can I go sleep? Can I even, can I get up to my bed? Am I gonna fit? I'm so big, wait. <laughs> Good thing that was there. I'm not even fitting in the bed. Look at me, I'm just like, my knees were off the edge of the bed. That was an accident. Um, did I just fart? My possum pouch had all of my diamonds in it. All of them. I think one of my abilities is like a boost. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Here's where I died. Let's see if I can't just still get my things. Let me just go through the wall. I think it'll be easier in the long run. <gasps> my head. Okay, it's not mad at me. That's good. All right, cool. All right, this is good, this is good. Oh, I did get my diamonds. <gasps> Don't. All right, I got my things. That wasn't so bad. That's the first time I've been able to actually get my stuff back. Kind of a bummer that I can't fit through the door. I'm gonna just keep breaking it to get inside my house. I am not used to being this tall. All right, you know what? I feel like I need to put this somewhere in remembrance. I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> As if she's still down there. I feel like since I'm so big now, I kind of need to get a base, like a wyverny base. I'm still half human, so I need something that fits both of my halves. Okay, there we go. That's a good amount of firework rockets. I honestly don't need them because of the way the ability works, but I feel like it's faster with the rockets. This villager at this point is my prisoner. Um, oh, did I ever address what happened to the other ones? I killed them. <laughs> I forgot. I accidentally punched one, and then he told the other one about it, and since they were in a boat together, they kind of just, you know, they just talked about it real quick, and they got mad, so I ended up killing them. This happened a while ago. I think this happened when I was the cat. Let's be honest, the cat didn't have a very clear set of morals. She was very conflicted. I haven't decided what my morals are yet. 
So this might be chaotic. Okay, let's do this ability. At least it boosts you up first. Burb's ability boosted you forward. And we all know that that's how I died. And I don't want that to happen again. Look at this rainbow, this is beautiful. Ooh, a village. Now, I don't know yet if plundering's the way that I wanna go. Anyway, I don't see any cows in this village, so maybe not worth it. You know what though? I know a village that I could safely plunder without getting anyone mad. You know, maybe I'm just a little bit of a shy, nervous guy and I'm not really trying to hurt anybody. So I'm gonna go sneak into a village and just take the free fish that they throw. Okay, that made me nervous. Maybe I'm just a big baby. Maybe I'm just a big baby. That Maybe that's my thing. I'm such a big baby. Now these guys, if you just hang around long enough, they just throw meat at you. This place is awesome. Okay, these guys really did come through. Uh, They just kind of chuck fish at you. Sorry, dude. Hey, am I taller than you? Ho <laughs> ho I'm taller than a golem. <gasps> a kitty. Hey, do you like meat too? I tried to get a cat pet when I was a cat. Oh, but now you, you are my treasure. Can you go all the way? There you go. <gasps> Perfect. Pun intended. You know, if I have a fishing rod, I could just get some extra fish. I really only have vegetables. All my other rolls mostly just ate veggies. I'm just a peaceful dragon who likes fishing and taking care of my cat. And I'm just a little bit shy. I'm not wanting to hurt anyone. That's my backstory. That's what I decided. This is how I get my treasures. From fishing from the bottom of the ocean. Not from stealing it from anybody or, or anything crazy like that. I just get whatever I think's funky and cool out of the bottom of the ocean. Sometimes it's a bowl. And sometimes it's a leather boot. And I just think that's treasure enough for me. I did decide I do want to get room for more animals. So I built a barn. I put our one sheep in there. And I need to get some more. I'm thinking some cows. Maybe either chickens or an actual horse in there. Or honestly. This is kind of a cozy place to sleep. It's kind of like a little cave for a little wyvern. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we need a proper home for me. But we're going to grab some animals so I finally have animals. Oh boy, do I love animals. I'm still eating fish. I've decided um, I'm a pescatarian. I'm a pescatarian dragon. I only eat fish. Well, that's gonna be it for today's episode. As you can tell, I am now in England and I will be here for a couple of weeks and then I'll be back home, but I'll be keeping up videos and streams from here. So leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.